Well, hello. It must be time for Thought for the Week. I'm on my way to church for the Harvest Festival. I've got a basket of Harvest goodies here. I'm sure that some of you are having Harvest services in your classes at school or thinking about making collections for Harvest. It's a really important time of the year to say thank you to God, isn't it? Harvest is a reminder of all the good things that God gives to us. There's a story in the Bible about a man called Elijah and he was really, really hungry. It was a time when there was a great famine. Now a famine is when the crops have failed and there isn't a lot. And people weren't feeling very thankful that year because there wasn't very much wheat at all and there wasn't very much oil at all because the olives weren't doing very well but Elijah was hungry so he went to a lady from the village he was in and said would you please give me some bread and she said sir all I've got left in my whole house is a little bit of flour nothing like as much as this and a little bit of oil quite a lot less than I've got in this bottle she hardly had anything. She had enough left to make one piece of bread for herself and her son. And then she would run out. Now I've got lots here, haven't I? And Elijah said to her, please make me some bread first and you'll find your oil and your flour don't run out. So she made him some bread and every time she went to get some flour, there was more flour always in the jar. And every time she went to get the oil, there was always more oil in the bottle. And it didn't run out. Isn't that amazing? God kept providing enough flour and enough oil for Elijah and the lady and her son until the famine was over. Wow, that's something to be thankful for, isn't it? Every year at harvest time, we say thank you to God for all the good things that he gives us. And quite often when we think about harvest services, we think about those things that grow. Things like the olives and the flower, or look on this thin vine, I've got some grapes. Lovely fresh grapes there. And we think about the beautiful things that grow and the things we can do or make with them. We might think about things like this. This is an orange. It grew in a warm country like Spain. Or things like this, an apple. I've got an apple tree in my garden and it's got lots and lots of apples on it. And they're all growing far too high up for me to pick. But the ones that I have picked and the ones that fall out make lovely apple pies. And I'm very grateful to God that I can make beautiful apple pies with the things from my garden. Maybe in your family there are things growing in your garden or in the allotment and we're thankful to God for them. The story of the widow reminds us too that at harvest we try to remember other people. Remember people in need, people like Elijah who that day had nothing to eat and wouldn't have had any bread if that poor widow hadn't shared with him. And so at harvest we share with other people too. I wonder if you have thought about what you will share. In my basket that I'm taking to church, I've got some things people have given to share. And they're things that come in tins and packets because they're easier to share with people in need. And they'll all be taken to the local food bank. So there's some soup and there's some strawberry jam and there's some honey and some vegetables in a tin and some fruit in a tin and some pasta there's all sorts of things we can give to help other people, aren't there? Maybe this week you'll have the chance 
to share with someone else, just like that widow did with Elijah. Maybe your school or your local church is having a harvest festival and they might be collecting things just like I am to give away to people who are poor or needy. People who come to the harvest festival in my churches can leave their gifts in a box by the church door so that we can isolate them and make sure there's no coronavirus germs on them for a few days before we take them to give to the food bank. Perhaps you can find out what's happening where you live and join in. And if you are kind and sharing, just like that widow, know that God will look after you too. And we can all be thankful together. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the harvest of good things that you send every year. Thank you that even when the harvest is poor, we can share with each other. Even when times are hard, someone will be kind. God, please help me today to be that kind person, to share like the widow did, and to help make sure that those in need have something to eat. Amen. And so that's my challenge to you for this week. As we thank God for the harvest of good things, will you share with others in need and be kind to them too? Have a lovely week. Bye-bye.